what is up fam welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot so this reading here is for my Taurus zodiac sign uh, we are going to do for this reading <clears throat> we have the Gilded Royale we're gonna do your energy and then I have the Gregory Scott Tarot we're gonna do your person's energy so what I ask of you is to think of the person that um, you are emotionally attached to that you're wanting to um, know how they're feeling towards you etc etc visualize them think of their name think of their face uh, think about how they make you feel <clears throat> and we're going to dive right in. So let's see. Guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross, and if you need to, please flip them. Okay, so first, let's pull your energy, Taurus. How does Taurus feel about the person that they are thinking of? How does Taurus feel about their person? Thank you. How does Taurus feel about their person? One more. How does Taurus feel about their person, please? How does Taurus feel about their person? How does Taurus feel about their person? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. The bottom is the strength card. Okay. Give me a second, guys. We're going to pull out the um, spread first, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Now, let's pull your person's energy. The person that Taurus is thinking of right now, how do they feel towards Taurus? How do they feel towards Taurus? What are their feelings? How does the person that Taurus is thinking of feel towards them? Thank you. How does the person feel towards Taurus that Taurus has on their mind, please? Thank you. All right, hold on, guys. This one. Okay, what's at the bottom? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to get the shared energy here. Let's see. Okay, what is the shared energy between Taurus and the person? Let me just say with this three, um, Taurus, your energy, I have three of wands, the emperor, and the eight of pentacles. I see you really focused on your money. I see you focused on um, your work, okay, the progress of your work and the success of your work as well. Over here, I see your person focus more on healing. Okay, there's um, some type of blockage here for them. What's the shared energy between Taurus and that person? And one more. What's the shared energy between Taurus and the person, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So there is a very strong connection here, and the date card is on the bottom. There's a very strong connection here between you and your person. Okay, this could be a twin flame energy because we have twin flames coming out here. So there is like a soul tie connection here or you guys kind of balanced each other out when you were together. Okay, this could have been like your opposite. You know how they say opposites attract. Now, again, back to your energy. I'm seeing you really focused on this three of wands energy, which is about progress, about ships riding in, the successes happening for you and coming towards you here. Uh, the emperor energy tells me you're very in control. Okay. Um, you may be a little bit of a control freak, just just a little, okay, and I'm, I'm not trying to call you out or anything like that, but I also feel as though your ego may prevent you from reaching out to this person or prevent you from uh, wanting to contact this person here, okay. Um, this Eight of Pentacles does tell me that you're hard at work, okay, you're really focused on your money, you're focused on your goals. However, if you look at this card, there is water in the background well not in this one this is the other deck but in the other deck they said show you okay so in the other deck the person that this is the gilded deck okay uh the person is really focused on the pen thank you spirit the person is really if you look in this card here they're almost exactly the same because this is the gilded royale and this is the gilded deck okay and in this card here there's water in the background and you can see that so it's just telling me that the emotions are still there, but they're kind of on the back burner for you, okay? It's not like you're not really trying to focus on that. You're trying to focus more on your work and your career and your money, okay? And uh, with the strength card here, sorry about that, guys. Let me turn this down. Uh, let me turn my ring off. I'm so sorry. There we go. And turn the vibration off. There we go. Okay, but you're really focused on like your 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 money and your successes. And the strength card being here uh, tells me that you're very courageous, you're very strong, you're very confident within yourself, okay? So you don't have no worries about that. The justice card is here. <clears throat> so just know what, excuse me guys, whatever you're working on, 
will pay off. This, the scales are going to balance out for you um, here when it comes to money and success and things like that. But I do see you kind of waiting either on them to contact you because of your ego <clears throat> with the emperor. Sorry, guys, my voice is going out. Because of the emperor energy, you may be waiting on them to kind of come in and approach you. Um, but let's get into their energy, okay? Their energy, I have the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Star card. So they're still dealing with a lot of conflict here with this Eight of Swords. It's a lot of mental chaos here going on. This could be um, due to you because we have the Three of Swords energy, which is about heartbreak and pain and, and breakups and separation, that type of energy, right? So there's a lot of pain with this person here, within this person. And I feel like they're still healing because we have the Star card, and the Star card is about healing, about being optimistic mystic and positive um, about dreams coming true and things like that so I do feel like they are um, healing and trying to move uh, forward or trying to come out of this mental blockage or this mental confusion here but I do see a lot of uh, forward movement but I also see love okay with this eight of wands energy because this is the um, the uh, love energy here okay it's like love arrows coming in sorry I couldn't get get it together there um, so I do see a lot of love coming towards them. So this could be family, you know, supporting them, friends supporting them as well. I see a lot of people uplifting them, but I do see that um, they still have you on their mind. OK, there's a lot of chaos going on here. Uh, now, there there is an opportunity where someone may reach out or you're looking at. Um, <clears throat> where one of you may let down the wall and reach out to the other person because we have the love call here and I feel like someone's gonna reach out and just say you know hey I really miss you I really think about you I still think about you you know I still have those feelings there or I can't get over you here and we'll find out it may be this person here because we have the eight of wands energy which is love but um, I'll clarify that and then the butterfly okay the butterfly is about evolving okay transforming going through a transformation here so I do feel both of you are going through a transformation in your own way yours is more financial and career based and things like that and then theirs is more of mental um, uh, trying to uh, get their mental together trying to get their thoughts together um, trying to get themselves healed and in a better position for themselves here and then the twin flame energy but i see the date card the axe and the camera see somebody's still reminiscing still thinking of this here the axe tells me that you guys are separated here and the date card is letting me know that either y'all are entertaining other people, either you or the other person, doesn't have to be you, could be your person, are trying to entertain other people. But with this camera being here, this lets me know that there's still thoughts about you, okay? And you're still thinking about them, you know, however it goes. You know, please don't come for my neck if, if that's not you. Let's see. What is their future energy towards Taurus? What is their future energy towards Taurus, please? Oh, I bet my card. Temperance. So I don't see their future energy coming towards you just quite yet because the Temperance is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so they're still going through a lot of healing. They're still trying to work on themselves and fix themselves. Um, the Seven of Pentacles just tells me that they are, again, nurturing themselves, growing themselves, uh, finding things that are high value to them, okay, and watching where they invest in opportunities and situations and people. So I don't see them reaching out um, in the future right now. I just see them more of focusing on themselves, trying to uh, better themselves here. And what's your future energy towards um, your person, Taurus? What is Taurus's future energy towards her person? Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands energy and the bottom is Three of Swords. So uh, for some of you, you may actually reach out to this person. You may be the one that, reach out, that reaches out. Um, and they may um, um, deny you, okay, with this Nine of Wands energy. And the Nine of Wands is about um, wounded warrior energy, okay? They may deny you, uh, but I see you moving on, moving forward, the Chariot and the Three of Swords. Um, and this could just be due to maybe you having some downtime and you may reach out to them. They just may either say like, you know, hey, I'm, I'm going through some things. I'm trying to fix fix myself. It may kind of hurt you, but I feel as though you'll be okay because the chariot is here and this is about triumph and overcoming difficulties and things like that. But I also feel like I need to tell you whatever you're doing as far as work-wise, if you fail the first time, keep going 
because there's a lot of success coming okay a lot of success you're going to overcome any hard times or any struggles that you're going through so if you're working right now and you feel like you're not getting ahead or you're not getting anywhere just keep focusing on that because um th they say through losses you tend to win so just know you fell a few times before you win right so just know to keep pushing and keep going forward with that <clears throat> now let's see and I know some people aren't going to like that. They're going to say, I'm not reaching out to that person. I'm not going to reach out to them, yada, yada, yada. But that's what I'm getting, okay? That's what the cards are telling me. All right, so I'm sorry. Please don't <laughs> please don't take offense. All right, let's see. What last messages would you like to give for Taurus to end this off? What last messages would you like to give to Taurus for this reading to end this off? Can I have two, please? Thank you. That's one. And I have one more for the last messages for Taurus to end this off. What last messages do you have for Taurus to end this off? There we go. Okay. So let's start with this card first. All right. So this card says... Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection, okay? So this could have been a reason that you guys butted heads, okay? I do feel like this person is your complete opposite, okay? But I also feel with this card coming out, you guys share the same, you know, you, although you're opposite and they say opposites attract, you do have some same qualities. All right. That's deep within. And so, um, that could have been the reason why <clears throat> it became, excuse me, guys, it became kind of, um, like a magnet. Okay. Like opposite magnets and you guys kind of like separate it. And let's see here and this card and it's this power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time, all right? So just remember, if you do reach out to them and they say no, just know that they're doing it for their benefit or for their better health because they feel that they need to still heal and focus on themselves here. Yep, four swords. They need to still heal and focus on themselves here for a period of time, but I do see love, okay? Ace of Cups. I see a love opportunity coming in, but... Um, if you do reach out the first time, they may just reject you because they're still working on themselves. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, it is what it is. It's okay. Okay. We all take rejection sometimes. But, uh, yeah, this is your reading, Taurus. I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.